Crack Till Dawn. We got J360 going up against Matrix. Of course, Matrix rocking with his main team, Storm Sentinel Psych, and J360 with Magneto Iron Man Sentinel. A very combo heavy one touch kill team. Storm Sent obviously got America's favorite, which can uh, take out a character too. But it's not quite as oppressive, I would say, as Josh's team. Here we go with the little three fierce. He blocks the fake uh, fake low. I mean, fake high, go low, and Cyclops coming out, fucking shit up as always. And uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of hailstorms coming out, but Chris Matrix is pretty good at um, conserving meter. Iron Man comes in safely, and uh, you definitely don't want that to happen for Josh. You want uh, you want to take out that Iron Man as quickly and as often as possible. Oh, he almost gets a conversion to the infinite. Nice assist punish for a Sentinel. Nice little 13 piece. And uh, Josh is fishing for that hit. Now, Iron Man, I would say, has to work a little harder for hits in Magneto and Storm, mainly because his uh, movement is not as quick, his air dash is not as swift, but uh, he can still catch some motherfuckers slipping every now and then. And there we go. We might see America's favorite, and we do. But he drops it because he was too close to the ground, but nice attempt right there. Again, so Sentinel's going to be looking to zone out Iron Man. And he could get right through that shockwave. Sometimes he could super through it or just go right through it. That was a drop opportunity right there. Some people call it drop opportunities. We got a nice little ROM. Taking that black and yellow Sentinel right into that TP. Hypergraph Tempest. Very nice. Almost mashed out. But almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Alright, he really wants to take that Sentinel out the box. Nice little flashy infinite on standing Sentinel. Free HC, Robot is done, and this match is over. It may look like he still has two characters, but that's just an optical delusion. And J360 knows he's got this match in the bag, just walking Scott Summers right to his grave, right under that TP, and Aurora is about to be right there with him. Yep, he decided to take the hit, maybe to try to throw him off, but this match is over. J360, cool as a cucumber. Mr. Anderson trying to uh, encourage Matrix over there. Yes, that is his nickname, Mr. Anderson. The guy, uh, he's from Philly, standing behind Matrix. And that's Mike Infinite over there, too. And let's see if Matrix uh, has made some adjustments. Hopefully he can get some clean hits this match. Josh would really like to, um, to open him up with Magneto, because once Magneto gets that hit, he can pretty much just free HC into Iron Man, and that's pretty much the end of the match. But this time, Chris gets a clean hit. Goes to America's favorite. And he drops the follow-up, but he's still doing pretty well. Magnus almost dead. Sentinel gets caught in the screen-filling beam. And then eats a super from Sentinel, too. So now we got the Sentinel battles. Nice little four-piece corner push. That Iron Man assist is the highest damaging assist in the game. And Sentinel's the highest damaging character in the game. If that shit ain't cheap, I don't know what is. But plus, you got Jesus Christ on Matrix's team. The priority of the fucking second coming. But he really liked to punish that Cyclops, which he did. He's trying to get him with the okie doke. Chris with the five piece. And we got some pretty good Sentinel battles right here. Ooh, nice little test kick right there. With the donut dip right into the unfly. Nice assist punish. But Magnus just barely lives. Man, Josh is uh, really doing pretty well with having his character survive. Nice. Does he go for the cross-up? No, he goes for the low. But he catches Aurora anyway. She was going for that hailstorm, but she got caught. A rare drop from Josh. He could have definitely taken her out the box right there. Nice little dead body. Ooh, little cross-up. America's favorite again. July 4th in this motherfucker. Hmm, gets him again. Nice little 95% combo right there. But Iron Man is still alive, and that's one thing you don't want to have happen when you play against J360. Fishing for them donut dips. Hmm. That should be a dead robot, and it is. Almost gets that unblockable, but nice punish by Matrix. Godlike throw into Iron Man assist. Should have been a dead Scott. But he's dead anyways. You know why? It's Tony fucking Starks. Guard break, hands up, get fucked. <laughs> Alright, let's see who's gonna get that first hit. Nobody yet. 
EM Disruptor first hit. Unexpected. Josh had a double snap opportunity right there. He gets him with the three piece with the double try jump, but it doesn't work. Chris is really good with getting them Lightning Storm conversions. Nice free HC. Magneto still lives though. <laughs> if he had him in the corner, he could have done the flying screen combo and then the wake up unblockable. Oh, is that a, oh that was almost a conversion. Nice little standing sentinel infinite. I like that shit. Oh, with the tag, the okie doke gets smoked. And Iron Man with the War Machine colors. He's like, man, I look like James Rhodes and still fuck you up. Hmm, dead character. And this match may be over. Yeah, this shit ain't looking good. Oh, man, he's just gonna walk him. He can literally just walk this shit out. Somebody can get Chris to Arizona right about now. That's what I would do. I would get myself to Arizona. Because Scott is fucking done. Damn. Home Depot Proton Cannon to the face. And that could have been a Dead Sentinel too. It still can be. Alright, he's doing some, some flashy ass infinites. When you know you got the match in the bags, I would say a lot of times players just go for some flashy shit. Because after 23 years, why the fuck not? It's Marvel. Alright, good games to both players. 